What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. You got PSA returning today. You got a quick SGC turnaround for Monday or Tuesday coming in, so I'll do that for a video too. Um, not bad overall. This was all bought um, at the Newberg show a while back, probably about a month and maybe a half ago. I picked it up in a big bulk deal where the guy was cutting me big discounts. Only one really didn't go the way as planned, and I'll show you that one first. <laughs> this Najee Harris was out of five from Panini Black. I really thought it would be an eight, and I just can't figure. I went back over it. I mean, I know there's a little mark here, and I know there was whiting on two corners, but somewhere, somehow, I missed something. And I got, I was trying to find out if that was supposed to actually have the foil onto it or not, the emblem there. But I figured it wasn't because uh, the black down here wording doesn't have it in it. But yeah, I can't figure it out for the life of me. Again, things sometimes slip through and I miss it. Never perfect looking stuff. I try to find everything I humanly can on these. But now I'll go off to DC Sports. I got a small package for them. Uh, as long as I get my grading feedback, I'm good with it. You guys, remember this. The Joe Morgan rookie got to six like I thought it would. Uh, if it would have been a little bit better on centering, I think we would have had a, a seven on to it. Very, very clean looking card. Very happy on this. Um, think I'm in this for 80 or 90 dollars going for 200. So not bad at all for Joe Morgan. I kind of got my vintage touch a little bit back. All right, next three cards. We're all part of the big bulk deal with the Najee. Anthony Edwards, PSA 10 Court Kings, going for about a hundred and a quarter. Basketball season was coming up. I think I got this card for like ten bucks, and it looked really, really good under the scope. And it's you know it's always a roll of the dice. We got the ten, which I was happy for. I was really leaning towards a ten on this, so definitely some you know probably double my money back into it. So like sixty bucks, get about a buck twenty onto it. Happy. All right, this one here, um, the James Wiseman Flux, got this for forty. Recently, his raws of this same exact card are going for 90 This 10 So my guess, somewhere around a 250 mark is a 10 Pretty cool, though, to get that back. Big profit onto that for me. I mean, I'm not doing $1,000 graded cards. That stuff scares the crap out of me. I ain't going to lie. Anybody knows when I was doing, like, the Herbert iMac RPAs and the Spectra and the... Prism RPAs with that big stack with the Griffey Trout out of 10 to fin. I mean, I was scared on those. Last one, Desmond Bain, Origins. This is a harder one to grade, too. Came back at 10. I got this for, I think, 20 bucks in a deal. I'm just throwing probably a rough estimate, maybe 150 onto it being a PSA 10. Could be off. But still, it's a, it's, it's a stack of profit. And the way I look at it, if I'm making, you know, 50 bucks, 40 bucks profit each time on a card, and that's usually like my thought for fees and shipping, you add that up after, you know, say I do 100 of them in a year, that's, that's good money to me. Good money. Reinvested. But pretty cool overall. Five card quick submission came back. Like I said, about five weeks. Overall happy. They got me there. And I got myself. I missed something. Still don't know what I missed on to it, but I'm going to sit give it one more time, look around, and see if I can figure it out. All right, guys, have a couple more videos this weekend. I'll be popping out. Um, quick SGC vintage turnaround thing that I did will be Tuesday, and I'm working the PSA Pop 10, uh, 10,000 Club. So that stuff there will all be done this weekend, videos throughout the week. Other than that, Overtime Live Friday night. Don't forget, football for the gridiron starts Thursday. All right, guys. Have a good one. See you all later.